sees in its environment and what it remembers. We are running the whole thing. Whatever way we can observe the world around us. So how do we continue to see the world as real if the self that is determining it to be real is intangible? Entonces, sin más preámbulo, voy a invitar a David y a Kirsten al frente. Yo voy a traducir, este es David, okay. este es Kirsten. Thank you very much for bringing us to Merida. Gracias a todos por traernos a Merida. Yeah, it's an honor to be here. Es un honor estar aquí. So, thank you. Gracias. The movie we're going to watch tonight. La película que vamos a ver esta noche. What the bleep do we know? Que no sabemos. Así se llama la película. It brings quantum physics to life. Quantum physics has been around for four decades. La física cuántica ha estado en el mundo desde hace cuatro décadas. This is the most advanced science. Es la ciencia más avanzada que tenemos. It's a new paradigm. Es un nuevo paradigma. Beyond Newtonian physics. Más allá de la física de Newton. For many centuries. Por muchas décadas. Saints and mystics los santos y los místicos have been talking about the spiritual experience. han estado hablando de la experiencia espiritual But in this world, science and religion pero en este mundo la ciencia y la religión don't seem to agree on many things. no se ponían de acuerdo en muchas cosas But now you're going to see that that has changed. ahora se van a dar cuenta que eso ha cambiado There really is only one truth. realmente nada más hay una verdad and that's called love y esa verdad se llama amor that we're all connected. que estamos todos conectados en él And now even the scientists are telling us this. y ahora hasta los científicos nos están diciendo esto that we're all energy. que todos somos energía we used to believe que antes pensábamos uh, that the world was outside of us. que el mundo estaba fuera de nosotros And we perceive the world through our five senses. y que percibíamos al mundo a través de nuestros cinco sentidos And our brain interprets what's going on in the world. Y que nuestra que nuestro cerebro interpreta lo que está ocurriendo en el mundo. But we've had it all backwards. Pero lo teníamos todo al revés. It all starts in our consciousness. Todo comienza en nuestra conciencia. We have thoughts and beliefs. Tenemos pensamientos y creencias. And then we project the world. Y luego lo proyectamos sobre el mundo. Based on what we believe. Basándonos en aquello que creemos. So quantum physics is telling us the same thing that Jesus taught us. Entonces, ahora la física cuántica nos está diciendo lo mismo que Jesús nos enseñó. 
It's all inside of us. Que todo está dentro de nosotros. Uh, we have to change our own minds. Tenemos que cambiar nuestras mentes. If we want to see a peaceful world. Si queremos ver un mundo en paz. We can't keep waiting for the world to change. No podemos seguir esperando que el mundo cambie. It starts inside. Comienza adentro. So this movie shows. Entonces esta esta película nos muestra. The power of thought. El poder del pensamiento. And the brain follows thought. Y el cerebro sigue al pensamiento. Uh, neurotransmitters. Los neurotransmisores. Peptides. Los peptidos. Uh, make the body react. Hacen que el cuerpo reaccione. And also our thoughts. También nuestros pensamientos. Make the environment that surrounds us. Crea el, el ambiente que nos rodea. But there is an observer. Pero sí hay un observador. Deep within our consciousness. Dentro de nuestra conciencia. That knows that everything is connected. Que sabe que todo está conectado. And this is what spirituality talks about. Y esto es de lo que habla la espiritualidad. I call it forgiveness. A eso yo le llamo perdón. So we will enjoy the movie. Entonces vamos a disfrutar la película. Uh, the main character will go through a transformation. El personaje principal va a atravesar una transformación. The same transformation that all of us are going through. La misma transformación que todos nosotros estamos pasando. And at the end we will have questions and answers. Y al final de la película tendremos una hora para preguntas y respuestas. Uh, to help clarify the principles in your mind. Para ayudar a aclarar estos principios en tu mente. I am so happy to be here in Merida. Estoy muy feliz de estar aquí en Merida. I've met so many happy people. He conocido tantas personas felices aquí. And I know that the reason you are here tonight y sé que la razón por la que están aquí hoy is because you have an open mind. Es porque tienen una mente abierta. So away we go. Uh -huh. Entonces, estamos aquí. yourself to the eyes of the ultimate observer who are we where do we come from what should we do and where are we going why are we here well that is the ultimate question isn't it what is reality what i thought was unreal now, for me, seems in some ways to be more real than what I think to be real, which seems now more to be unreal. You can't explain it. Uh, and anybody who gets too lost and try, anybody who try, spends so much time trying to explain it is likely to get lost forever down the rabbit hole of mysteriousness. I think the more you look at quantum physics, the more mysterious and wondrous it becomes. Quantum physics. The important succinctly speaking is the physics of possibilities. These are questions, these are addressing questions um, um, of how the world feels to us, of, of whether there's a difference between the way the world feels to us and the way it really is. Have you ever thought about what thoughts are made of? I think some of the things we're seeing with the children today is a sign that the culture is in the wrong paradigm and not appreciating the power of thought. Every age, every generation has its built-in assumptions that the world is flat, that the world is round, etc. There are hundreds of hidden assumptions, things, things we take for granted that may or may not be true. Of course, in the vast majority of cases, historically, these things aren't true. So presumably, if history is any guide, much about what we take for granted about the world simply isn't true. But we're locked into these precepts without even knowing it oftentimes. 
that's a paradox. Modern materialism strips people of the need to feel responsible. And often enough, so does religion. But I think if you take quantum mechanics seriously enough, it puts the responsibility squarely in your lap, and it doesn't give answers that are clear-cut and comforting. It says, yes, the world is a very big place. It's very mysterious. Mechanism is not the answer, but I'm not going to tell you what the answer is. Because you're old enough to decide for yourself. <laughs> is everyone in the street? Is everyone in the living room? Can you suck them around? <laughs> Asking yourself these deeper questions opens up new ways of being in the world. It brings in a breath of fresh air. It makes life more joyful. The real trick to life is not to be in the know, but being the mystery. recreating the same reality? Why do we keep having the same relationships? Why do we keep getting the same jobs over and over again? In this infinite sea of potentials that exist around us, how come we keep recreating the same realities? Isn't it amazing that we have options and potentials that exist but we're unaware of them? Is it possible that we're so conditioned to our daily lives, so conditioned to the way we create our lives, that we find the idea that we have no control at all? We've been conditioned to believe that the external world is more real than the internal world. This new model of science is just the opposite. It says what's happening within us will create what's happening outside of us. There's a physical reality that is absolutely rock solid and yet it only, if you want to put it this way, it only comes into existence when it bumps up against some other piece of physical reality. That other piece may be us, and of course we're part of those moments. But it doesn't have to be either. You know, it could be just some incidental uh, rock comes flying along and interacts with this fuzzy mass of stuff and sure enough it provokes it into a particular state of existence. And there were philosophers in the past that said, look, if I if I kick a rock and I and I hurt my toe, that's real. You know, I feel that, it, it feels real, it's vivid, and uh, that that means that it's reality. Uh, but it's still an experience and it's still this person's perception of it being real. Scientific experiments have shown that if we take a person and uh, uh, hook their brains up to certain PET scans or computer technology and ask them to look at a certain object and they watch certain areas of the brain light up and then they'd ask them to close their eyes and now imagine that same object and when they imagine that same object it produced the same areas of the brain to light up as if they were actually visually looking at it so we call scientists to back up and ask this question so who sees then? Does the brain see? Or do the eyes see? And what is reality? Is reality what we're seeing with our brain? Or is reality what we're seeing with our eyes? And the truth is, is that the brain does not know the difference between what it sees in its environment and what it remembers because the same specific neural nets that we're firing. So then it asks the question, what is reality? bombarded by huge amounts of information and it's coming through the body and we're processing it coming through our sense organs it's percolating up and up and at each step we're eliminating information and finally what is bubbling up to consciousness is the one that's the most self-serving. The brain processes 400 billion bits of information a second but we're only aware of 2,000 of those but our awareness of those 2,000 bits of information are just about the environment, our body, and about time.